Welcome to our exploration of some of the most unique and rare cultural practices from around the world. Human societies, in all their diversity, have developed extraordinary customs and traditions, often shaped by their environment, beliefs, and social structures. Today, we delve into the intriguing custom of offering one's wife to a guest, a practice that has existed in only a few societies worldwide. Join me as we navigate this sensitive subject with respect and strive to understand the cultural contexts in which it existed. Here in the unforgiving landscapes of the Arctic, temperatures plummet to unimaginable lows, and survival becomes the primary imperative. For the Inuit people, or Eskimos as they were once called, hospitality transcended mere politeness. It was a matter of life and death. Imagine if you will, a lone traveler, battling the elements, seeking refuge. In such a harsh environment, the warmth of a welcoming igloo and the sharing of scarce resources including food, shelter and companionship could mean the difference between life and death. It was in this context that the custom of offering one's wife to a guest arose. Now it's crucial to understand that this practice was not about sexual gratification as we might perceive it today. Instead it was deeply rooted in the Inuit belief in the interconnectedness of all things. Offering one's wife, the mother of one's children, was the ultimate act of generosity, a profound demonstration of trust and a willingness to share even the most precious aspects of one's life. This custom, often misinterpreted through the lens of modern Western values, served a vital social function. It fostered bonds of solidarity and mutual dependence in an environment where cooperation was essential for survival. The woman, in this context, held a position of great respect, her role as caregiver and companion highly valued. We journey now to the savannas of East Africa, home to the Maasai people, renowned for their cattle herding traditions and vibrant cultural identity. Here, in a land of vast plains and a deep connection to their livestock, the Maasai have long practiced a form of hospitality that may seem unusual to outsiders. In the past, a Maasai man might offer his wife to a guest as a sign of deep respect and a desire to forge strong bonds of friendship. This gesture, however, was never taken lightly and was subject to strict cultural protocols. The offer was not an obligation, and the woman had every right to refuse. Should she accept, the encounter was treated with the utmost discretion and respect. It was not uncommon for the husband to sleep in a separate dwelling, allowing his guest and wife privacy. To view this custom solely through a sexual lens would be a grave misinterpretation. For the Maasai, this act was deeply symbolic, representing a willingness to share what was most precious, their home, their family, and their wives' companionship. It was seen as a way to create a sense of obligation and reciprocity, strengthening the ties between individuals and their respective families or clans. Our exploration takes us now to the arid heart of Southern Africa, home to the San people, one of the oldest cultures on Earth. The San, often referred to as Bushmen, have lived in harmony with the Kalahari Desert for millennia, their lives intricately intertwined with the rhythms of nature. In this unforgiving landscape, where resources are scarce and survival depends on cooperation, the San developed unique social customs to maintain peace and solidarity. One such custom involved offering the company of the host's wife to a guest. Now it's crucial to understand that this practice was not about sexual conquest or objectification. Instead, it served a vital social function, to strengthen intertribal alliances and ensure mutual support in times of need. Imagine, if you will, two sand groups meeting after a long separation. Tensions might be high, resources scarce, and the potential for conflict ever-present. In such a setting, the act of offering one's wife's companionship served as a powerful symbol of trust and a willingness to forge a lasting bond. The Kayapo live in close-knit communities, their lives governed by ancient traditions and a deep spiritual connection to the natural world, Kayapo leader. Here, amidst the towering trees and vibrant life of the rainforest, the Kayapo developed a custom that might seem perplexing at first glance. Offering the host's wife to a guest, while seemingly unusual, played a significant role in maintaining social harmony and strengthening bonds within the tribe. Kayapo leader. This practice, often misunderstood, was not primarily about sexual gratification. Instead, it served as a powerful ritual, a way to build trust and solidarity among the men within the tribe. Kayapo leader. By sharing the intimacy of their wives, 
Kayapo men reinforced their bonds of brotherhood and created a sense of shared responsibility for the well-being of the community. Our journey takes us across the vast Pacific Ocean to the idyllic shores of Yap Island, a part of the Federated States of Micronesia. Here, surrounded by turquoise waters and fringed by coral reefs, the Yapizi people have developed a rich cultural heritage, steeped in ancient traditions and a deep respect for the sea. On Yap Island, the custom of offering one's wife to a guest was once an integral part of their ritual of hospitality. Now it's crucial to understand that this practice was not about sexual exploitation or objectification of women. Instead, it was deeply rooted in the Yapizi worldview, which placed great emphasis on social harmony, respect for elders, and the importance of maintaining balance within the community. Imagine, if you will, a high-ranking visitor arriving on Yap Island after a long and arduous journey. To honor such a guest, the host might offer the company of his wife as a gesture of extreme respect and a desire to make the guest feel welcome and valued. Chapter 6, Fiji, Fostering Goodwill Among Islands We journey now to the heart of the South Pacific, to the Fiji Islands, a nation comprised of over 300 islands and islets, each a jewel of pristine beauty. The Fijian people, known for their warm hospitality and vibrant culture, have long navigated the challenges and opportunities of island life, developing unique social customs to maintain peace and cooperation amongst communities. In some traditional Fijian societies, the custom of offering a host's wife to a guest was practiced as a means of fostering goodwill and strengthening alliances between different groups. It's crucial to approach this practice with sensitivity and a deep understanding of its cultural context. This custom was not about sexual promiscuity or the subjugation of women. Instead, it represented a profound act of trust and a desire to establish strong bonds of reciprocity between individuals and their respective communities. Imagine, if you will, two Fijian communities coming together for a significant event, perhaps a celebration of a bountiful harvest or a gathering to discuss important matters. In such a setting, the act of offering a guest the companionship of one's wife served as a powerful symbol of respect, generosity, and a willingness to forge lasting bonds of friendship and mutual support. Chapter 7, Mongolian Nomads, Honoring Guests in the Steppes Our exploration takes us now to the vast steppes of Mongolia, a land of endless horizons and a nomadic people deeply connected to the rhythms of nature. The Mongols, renowned for their horsemanship and their history as fierce warriors, have for centuries roamed these grasslands, their lives dictated by the seasons and the needs of their herds. In the heart of this challenging yet beautiful environment, the Mongols developed a tradition of hospitality that placed great emphasis on the respect and honor accorded to guests. The arrival of a traveler, especially from afar, was treated as a significant event, an opportunity to extend generosity and strengthen social bonds. In this context, the custom of offering a guest the company of one's wife arose not from a perspective of sexual objectification, but from a deeply ingrained cultural value system. It was seen as the highest form of hospitality, a way to make the guests feel truly welcome and to solidify the ties of friendship and obligation between individuals and their respective groups. Chapter 8. Turkic Nomads, Reinforcing Social Fabric our journey concludes amidst the rugged landscapes of Central Asia, home to a rich tapestry of Turkic nomadic cultures. For centuries these nomadic peoples have traversed the steppes and mountains, their lives intertwined with the cycles of nature and the enduring traditions passed down through generations. In this challenging environment, hospitality became a cornerstone of social interaction, a way to build trust, ensure survival, and maintain the delicate balance within and amongst these nomadic groups. The arrival of a guest, especially from another tribe or clan, was an occasion of great significance, an opportunity to strengthen alliances and reaffirm social bonds. Some Turkic nomadic tribes practiced the custom of offering a guest the company of the host's wife. Now, it's essential to approach this practice with cultural sensitivity and a deep understanding of its historical context. This custom, while seemingly unusual today, was not about sexual exploitation or the subjugation of women. Instead, it served a vital social function, acting as a powerful symbol of trust, generosity, and a willingness to forge lasting bonds of friendship and mutual support. Thank you for joining us on this journey through some of the world's most unique cultural practices. 
we've explored a sensitive custom, one that challenges our modern sensibilities, yet offers a glimpse into the diverse ways human societies have organized themselves throughout history. Remember these customs, while rare and often misunderstood, played significant roles in the social structures of their respective societies. They highlight the importance of approaching cultural practices with sensitivity, striving to understand their historical context and the human values that underpin them. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the diverse cultures of our world.